5. The more, the merrier. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn science stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what are the classification of plants according to its method of reproduction? Number two, what are the different modes of reproduction? And number three, how does the reproduction of flowering and non-flowering plants takes place? Study the illustrations below. Can you say something about it? What are the different kinds of plants? Based on the pictures that we have, plants reproduce in different ways. Reproduction occurs when the flowering plants undergo self-pollination or cross-pollination. For non-flowering plants, like fern and moss, they reproduce by means of releasing large number of spores. They rely on wind to carry their reproductive spores. What are the classification of plants according to its method of reproduction? Kinds of plants Flowering plants These are type of plants that can reproduce through seeds, contained in fruits, grains, vegetables, and flowers. Angiosperm Other term used for flowering plants. Examples of angiosperms are mango, banana, guava, and papaya. Flower. It is a structure of a plant that contains the stamen, male reproductive part, and pistil, female reproductive part, which allows the plant to reproduce through the process called pollination. As you can see in our example of angiosperms, most of its fruits came from its flower, and inside, inside of its fruits contains the seed that soon will be developed into another or new plant. Gymnosperms means naked seed. They do not have covers on their seed. A type of vascular plant that reproduces via an exposed seed. Examples of gymnosperms are conifern, cycads, ginkgo, and genetophytes. Pores. These are tiny living cells which leave the plant on which they originate and fertilize away from the original organism. Examples, ferns, mosses, liverworts, horsetails, xylotiles, club mosses, and hornworts. What are the different modes of reproduction? Kinds of pollination. For flowering plants, they can undergo with the following processes. Number one, self-pollination. It happens when the pollen from the anther transfer to the stigma of the same flower. While cross-pollination, it happens when the pollen from the anther of one flower transfer to the stigma of another flower. Non-flowering plants like gymnosperms, they produce seeds. The male cone releases pollen grains, which is the male sex cell, which are blown by wind. If pollen lands on the female cone, it fertilizes the female egg cell. The fertilization develops into seeds. As you can see in the illustration, there are two kinds of cone. The wider one is the female cone that bears the female sex cell and the thinner cone bears the male sex cell. For non-flowering plants, which is a spore-producing plants, they do not reproduce through flowers but they reproduce by means of releasing large number of spores. These plants rely on wind to carry their reproductive spores as far as possible. As you can see, in the life cycle of a fern and a life cycle of a moss, their spores 
are being blown away by the wind. How does the reproduction of flowering and non-flowering plants take place? For angiosperms, they can undergo sexual reproduction in which plants involves the fusion of male and female gametes, which came from the pistil of the flower and with the stamen of the flower. For non-flowering plants and gymnosperms, some can undergo a sexual reproduction such as fragmentation, budding, spore formation, or vegetative propagation. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one. Bye!